Yeah. Yeah. sent back to protect her. He was from the future. Alright. Welcome very much about the audience to the poorly played stream. We're back. What twelve year old doesn't know what a pair of nuts is? Uh show me a child in America. Did you not drop yet? Uh Frank Howley joins Hello. us this week from the illustrious Lazy Boy Lounge. Oh my god. We're live. Howdy doody. Howdy, Frank. Frank hey. returns. Uh, from PAX East with oh, me, yeah. we were out there. We were reporting on the scene. We have firsthand accounts, Frank. That's right. I was in that ship for four days in the Boston cold, exploring all the games. We have so many stories, so many deep PAX conspiracies, deep games, conspiracies. demos, everything. Oh we my got, God. we got the dirt, and we're gonna dish it. We're gonna spill that tea. We've got Discord calls. Oh Brian's at the ready. Hi, Brian. Oh. <laughs> we missed you uh, while we were away. Thank you. You know, it was a slow day on yeah. Twitch when the big dogs and the poorly players are not uh, streaming, you know? That's it is. And they say if you don't stream as a game streamer, you You're lose fucked. You lose your audience. Yeah, you dude, if you fucking go to bed, you lose 14 million followers. You can't do that. You can't go to bed. Now. I'm getting horny now. Just thinking sleep. about it. You can't, go to, you can't go to bed and can't have go to a work, wet dream. Can't go to school. You got to stay up and have a dry dream you online. Be, yeah. I'm all about the no vacations for game streamers, baby. It's uh, work, work, work. And here we are at the main front. And I can't believe that it's time for made Final it. Fantasy VII Remake. I yeah. can't believe it's out. It's uh, it's out. Sean's really fucking excited. Oh, I'm is he? so fucking happy. Yeah, oh, he's... wait, which Sean? Sean Chatfield. He's oh, really? I'm so fucking happy. He's so fucking happy that uh, the demo is here. He uh, is real, real excited for the, the game. He can't wait. <clears throat> Over any of us, Rocco, myself included. <laughs> it's Sean who's the most fucking happy. I'm surprised He's by that. The most anticipated. You're I, surprised? I, yeah, yeah I didn't class. think Sean I'm would give a shit about I'm Final surprised Fantasy. too. Final Fantasy no, is the perfect family game. Yeah. I mean, you, get, you start out as a little blonde bad boy and you recruit a bunch of kids and, you know. He's going to dabble. Yeah. I think he, That's basically Sean's whole family. It, yeah. looks, it looks like you. Yeah, he's going to form a member, uh, a team uh, called Avalanche yeah. just in his living room. He's got enough members. I you think should. They, they got we, a we dog got, too, like Red Nine? Yeah, oh we got pre Red Nine, yeah. I guess we got Biggs, Jesse, uh, Barrett, and Strife on this mission, Wait, right? Oh no wait. 
There's one oh. more guy. Wedge. Wait, is Tiffin not in this demo? No. What, no. what the fuck? That's I all know. I care about. Sorry. That's all I. That's why I Sorry. came here. Oh, Sorry, bro dog. oh, dude, Brian, you didn't tell him. No, There's no cones dude. in this. You wouldn't have come if I told. Where them. the fuck are the cones? Well, you, you can't come without the cones. You can't. Uh, that's a proven fact. They were giving away uh, at the booth. A beautiful here. Oh my that's upside God. down. Let's fix that. No, that's right. Let's, Let's get poster. Uh, you know, what is the problem? What is the ordeal here? Uh, what is the ordeal indeed? I want to uh, just first off apologize for no cones. <laughs> and, and I didn't have time Brother. to... I didn't put this up yet, so we'll find some space here. Yeah, do a little decorating. Square Enix actually dropped out, right, Frank? Yeah. Last minute of PAX... The Square company was like, we're not sending anyone from Japan. So I guess they sent oh, people yeah. from the American team they, to run the booth. They, they were going to have, like, Final Fantasy XIV is always hands-on with their conventions. They always have yeah. Yoshi P, the director, like, come to all these fan events. Sure. Like, he's so hands-on, but yeah, last minute, it's like, oh, none of the Japanese dev no. team. But they were still demoing fourteen stuff. They were demoing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Capcom yeah. dropped out, like, two days in. They just went, nah, we're out. Yeah, no Capcom. No Capcom. No Sony. No Sony. Sony! They were like the first to announce, I think, their, their yeah. pullout. But no Sony booth, even. You know, uh, Square still had their booth no, there. No, Microsoft didn't do shit. They Microsoft, had Mixer. Yeah. No one cares about that. And <laughs> Twi Twitch, surprisingly, doesn't have a presence there anymore, which I feel like they're missing out. Yeah. Discord has a big presence on the show Discord floor. is fucking blowing oh up. Yeah. They had one of the best booths. They had free candy, and they had every they had, twice a day they had trivia contests where you can win free shit, free headphones. Free candy. That, hey, Jared, Dog. I know you're watching CAG. The best opportunity to win, like, legit free shit, Discord. I should have, Jared, I messed up. I should have let you know. Yeah, let them know. Dude, Discord has amazing giveaways at their booths. Okay. Like, it's very easy to win, too. Uh, they, they, they definitely did have a big presence. I was, I was surprised at, uh, a lot of, you know, the cancellations made me think, oh, are there going to be these big empty areas yeah. where there's not a booth? But no, it was like totally filled oh, they, in. They filled it out. A lot yeah. of indie devs. Every, yeah. So many indie devs, so much more hardware oh, yeah. than I've ever seen at a PAX. There were ray tracing video cards. Whoa. Steam oh, cooled. Yeah. Fucking dude! Bubbling. Everyone's, everyone's trying, everyone's liquid trying to cooled. show off their fucking like Jordan Jones pimp machine. It's <laughs> like there's fucking rainbow lights, everything. Every other booth motherboards, was hardware. yeah. Uh, Chairs, fucking, a lot of PC gaming chair booths. Yeah, a lot of companies just selling hardware. Auto, yeah. So much More capture than, devices, yeah. so many video switchers and streaming cameras and lenses and fucking mics and like so much hardware. It was lights. it was really a different uh, packs for me just yeah. to see that. Um, a lot of cool stuff, which we'll get into yeah. once we tar start with some Discord callers. Oh, yeah. Brian, I gotta start this fucking. So, I game. mean, speaking of things. Oh are, wait, wait how, are you gonna buy the? How do I want to purchase? Uh, you can do the deluxe. <laughs> Listen, or, I got this on pre-order. Have you pre -order. played this yet? I have. Okay. I played a little bit last night to get a, uh, familiar with it Who for the, in the stream chat today. Has played it? But I, I did, um, I did. Interestingly enough, uh, already have this pre-ordered on Amazon. Remember when Amazon did their discounted gamer oh, yeah. service? I was a discounted gamer back Dude, then. Dude, this FMV to open is fucking Isn't it beautiful? great. This was my first video game girlfriend. This is my first waifu love, I think, Frank. Dude. Was Aerith. So you jerked off to... Well, no, but I named her <sighs> after... The graphics were too cruddy back then. This helped fucking hell Not yeah. Tifa, though. I'm getting horny now. Dude, yeah, Tifa but was back, definitely named after my crush. Back then, no, it was too, too yeah. rudimentary. Yeah, I okay, already, te Tekken had good bays, but yeah, these polygons were whack. Whack, dude. I already had Playboys. <laughs> I yeah. was looking at real things. Um, but but what I'm, what I'm talking about here, though... Woo! I mean, this is something else. Um, so I could probably finish to this, probably. Is there anyone jacking off to this right now? Depends. Well, let's get to a different scene. See, Aerith, though, what I did in the naming scheme, which yes. I hope, I hope and also I don't think it's going to happen. Like, the character names are so iconic now in Final Fantasy. Are they going to let you name all the characters oh, like they used to in yeah. RPGs? So or I is it Cloud, Aerith? So far in the demo, there's it, no name. Yeah, in the demo, they don't let you name anything. Yeah. But hopefully, they don't take that away from well, you. Well, am I going to fuck up and name Aerith Corinne again? And the, that was that happened to be the girl I was, like, so head over heels with at the time in 1997. Did she see your save file? I don't think she ever saw my oh, save good, file. I don't good. think she gave a shit. Whew. But, uh, but sh you know, what happens to Corinne down the line in this game? Oh, my heart. <gasps> Little shed a tear. I cried. Shed a tear. 
Yeah, it was a sad day. <laughs> um, really just didn't know how bad I was anticipating this until I got hands-on with the demo. I was like, all right, I'll get this. I mean, they're remaking one of my favorite games. Oh, absolutely. But I, I was really trying not to get hype. I don't know about you guys. I wasn't until I played this. Um, I genuinely... I was gonna probably that get fucking, this. That cut to the steam yeah. train. Well, oh this whole God. opening is one to one. Uh, yeah, I know, so, but I, 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 it just, I didn't expect it to grab me like it did. Once it, I'm sitting here playing it, I'm like, oh fuck, I can't wait now. And so I mentioned this yesterday on the Big Dogs, and I mentioned this like just talking to Frank in general, but like, the fact that they redid this game the way that they did made it so that you can now re-explore all those parts that you used to go through when you were, you know, younger. Yeah. But it's new. Yeah. Rather than doing a one-to-one -one remake where you're playing the exact same game all over again where you know where everything is and you know what to do, sure. just like Resident Evil 2. Hit the high points yeah. to make it all relevant. Same setting. You know, maybe the same map, essentially. Yeah. But now it's a new fucking presentation. Oh. And like, dude, I watched I watched my buddy play this. Well, we all know Andrew. We watched Andrew play this before I played it, and then I played it after him. And I I genuinely it sold me on the game. Oh, this yeah. demo sold me on the game. The the cinematic quality of it alone really like sold me. But the actual gameplay and I have this slashing mechanic where it almost feels like I could be playing an action game. Like yeah. it feels like some where between Devil May Cry and an RPG. Yeah. It's fucking sick. And yeah. once I could control this character, the first thing I did was like, I want to see how pretty I am. Oh my god! And oh gorgeous. my god, Cloud, you devil! And kiss the TV right now. The devil wow. is in those details. This Mwah. is the, the first thing I did was like, <laughs> yeah. pull up to a close camera angle wow. and and really try to get a look at the character models because they're daddy's got his big sword. They're fucking great. Um, really, really fucking impressed. The uh. The lighting, the way everything, I have this like 3D camera to explore these environments I've been in, but you were locked into before. It really is kind of, yeah, what made the Resident Evil 2 and I assume 3 uh, so good. Yeah, exactly. It, like, it, it's that you're, you're revisiting that environment that you're familiar with, but now you have a, another access to move around in. Yeah, I mean, now it's fully realized with so much more technology, so it's like yes. it's getting clo closer to what they you're envision. You're coming with us. Like, and and that's Frank brings that up like what they envisioned is totally true. The coolest thing about this is that they did not update the style. Yeah. It's still the same character designs and animation well not animation, the character designs from back then. So yeah, yeah you have that one character, that NPC, that uh, that female character Jesse? Oh yeah, that totally looks like a 1999 <laughs> or whatever. He's got yeah. like medieval knight well, armor. I mean, look at well, it, looks, it looks just like Jill Valentine in Resident Evil. Like yeah. Back then, yeah. just like hokey Japanese character design that is so charming when you look at it now. And she's stacked, dude. She, that fucking armor is showing off uh, by my new waifu, I Shoulders, think. Shoulders, got Good cosplay plate. material. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, So nowadays, like, I wonder how much um, thought goes into the cosplay side of character design. like I, I think that's more things. and more a thing nowadays. Yeah. You know, I think that creators are definitely thinking about, like, all right, how could this be? You know who I first heard talk about that? Was the anime director uh, from uh, Ruby. Oh, uh, Monty. Monty Ohm yeah. told me that Shouts he out. definitely anticipates what the costume would be while he's character designing as to make it not easy oh well not only easier on the cosplayer because like i want to use stuff that they could find and actually make sure but but he expects to see that cosplayed uh just as the nature of the show went on like he knew like wow people are obsessed with these characters they're gonna if i change up the designs <laughs> they'll cosplay it this way so i i definitely think game designers do the same thing now isn't it cool though that they like Completely, completely redesigned what this game looks like. You got this. Yeah. You know, again, yeah. what I was saying about trying to update that previous style of the fixed camera and pre-rendered backgrounds, like that's sure. cool. You're but they were, they did this they they did this thing where it was we well, let's take the source material, but let's create a new style of playing for 2020. 
And that was the thing that I wanted but was very worried about because I didn't know how they would be able to execute that. And after playing this demo, they pulled it off in a way that I'm genuinely interested in playing. Because if they did a turn-based RPG in 2020, I would have signed out. Thank you. Yes, but exactly. No thank you. You, and and you can kind of get both of best you know the best of both worlds I think like how I was just fighting there mm -hmm. I would go into that bullet time mm -hmm. and there I can take my time picking my spells if I want or I could just mash on square you could hold down square and that's the other thing sure that I and it's a different too. motion yeah it does like a three combo attack on a certain enemy and then you can transfer on to the next the the biggest thing that I liked about this is that they took the concept that like Doom 2016 and Resident Evil did, which was let's take what you loved but update it sure. and make it work for 2020. And I've been playing Doom 2016. It's oh, me too. Incredible. Isn't that funny? That's that's literally the disc that's in oh, there right <laughs> now. Is I've been trying to get through this. Have yeah. you been playing it too, Frank? Well, no. I mean, I like like this is how I'll do Doom Eternal. I beat Doom the weekend it came out. It sure. was like, fuck it, devoured it. Okay, four years later, I'm gonna do the same thing. I really? Can't wait. So yeah. I started it, it, you know, the weekend it came out, and now I'm getting around to finishing yeah. it. But uh, I I really have been having fun, and I'm almost like uh, sad that you know I don't want to finish it too early. I'm planning on trying to finish it maybe the day before Doom yeah. Eternal ships to me. That'd be nice. I want a seamless transition. Uh, I really got some time to watch over people's shoulders on the show floor at PAX. Oh, yeah. Uh, and see people at some of these PC booths playing uh, the new Doom. Did you see any of that? Or did you get your no, hands on it? No, I'm still, like, blind. Again, Doom, yeah. I know I'm going to devour. I don't need to see any. Yep. I don't need to see anything. Yeah. Um, like, I didn't want to wait so in line. So but I did look over shoulders, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just to see, like, oh, look at the Imp's new design. Like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. Because, I, I, you know, you see some stuff on Twitter, but I'm not watching trailers. I heard there's a hip-hop trailer. <laughs> yeah, so they put out, so again, when you think of Doom, visually, yeah, what do you hell, think demons, whatever. But then the second beat is, da -da 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 you yeah, metal, metal, metal. The fans who love Doom are already going to get Doom. For their video game, like their TV commercial, they put out a Doom commercial that's like, it's the Doom guy, and it's like, I, yeah. Uh, it's like yeah, hip hop. I'm a superstar. So uh, what's yeah. Deal? Uh, Is he one of us now? Gonna go fuck. He's yeah. Fuck. And it's like so different yeah, to what the real fucking well, like music is that people are watching like, but what the fuck? You made Doom more. so soft. What what is this? <laughs> like, but like, and it's well, always like funny where it's like, yeah, the the, the tone now. of the game itself is so <laughs> different from the way Bethesda's marketing it that it was this so clashing. But Doom is for everyone, so it doesn't matter what music you like. Check it out. True. I think you know you can put it to. Mario music, whatever. But yeah, it was like that, that, you know, kerfuffle on the internet. Isn't it cool though that like throughout all of this, Doom and Animal Crossing New Horizons are coming out on the same day. So cool. And somehow, so much crossover. The conversion of these two fucking IPs occur. And it's not that surprising because look at the three of us. We're all video game fans. We Are we all do. getting both of we those like games? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. well, I'm definitely getting both. Oh, absolutely. I uh, I just started the pre-download for Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. No, that's we're, we're definitely getting those when, th when those come out. But this, like, uh, this Doom game is back to being on that Amazon gamer list oh, for me. That was like the last two off. things I got was Doom Annihilation and, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, yeah, I mean... I'm set for what is this March 20th? We're getting both of these yep. titles. Yeah, and, and uh, I, mean, I mean among like three other titles around that time. Uh, too. Or same. The, yeah. yeah. The, the next five is Neo 2 is next week. Then there's Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing, Resident Evil Nemesis, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. That is the fucking slate within the next like month. Five it's a good games, month, dude. dude. Huge. It's a good huge, fucking month. Huge. huge. I'm so, really excited. I mean, I'm I'm they super stoked on all these games that are coming out. I, 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 I love that, again, I love that there is this crossover right now between Animal Crossing and Doom that creates like, it just shows that video games are, are for everybody. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if you like metal and tearing apart, you know, uh, fucking demons from hell you're talking about it creates unity yeah. amongst the gamers man exactly the gamers are out here yeah baby they're in love with they're their games everywhere and in your world playing ours they That's come in right. all shapes we and have colors many, gamers have many lives 
We have many, many we, lives. We get shit done. Don't mess with the gamer because you look like we just got cheat enough codes. XP and I'm about to level up. We got cheat codes, baby. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then and then Frank just said it in the chat, but fucking the Halo One PC version just dropped. I know day. Charles oh, yeah. shouts out to oh, our yeah. boy like, Charles. There's so <laughs> much shit. He's been streaming I, I was so much shit. I was following Charlie and he's streaming a lot of Halo. It looks good. Oh yeah. Get to hear those grunts cackling again oh, while yeah. they choke on needle. <laughs> <Cackle demons. laughs> you fill them, <clears throat> fill them with needles and they just go <laughs> screaming into the night. Oh, boy. Check out his channel, uh he's been streaming a lot of that. Yeah, phenomenal. Mirth, lots of mirth over there. Oh, yeah. yes. mirth. oh look at these oh. two guys. He's the, he's the king. Look at these he's streaming now. fucking guys. Let's raid him. Can we do that? Is that is that a thing oh, we yeah. do? We oh, can, yeah. We can, but... While we're on? No. Can we no. Do? Oh, Yo, shit. No, you want to do it at the end. <laughs> yeah. I want to figure out how to do a raid Perfect. while I'm on. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Send all your dumb That's all. like the nervous Twitch stream. Oh, don't don't watch me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you to someone else's <laughs> channel. Okay, the god. All right, back Punisher on my Twitch mode. stream. Oh, god, I have two viewers. Let's raid this person. Okay, I'm back here. No one can watch me. No one can watch me. Don't look. Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I get, I get nervous when I stream, so just... Uh, just uh, just uh, watch somebody else. Yeah, if, I'm not very good. If you want to gift a sub, go ahead. Yeah, if you want to gift a sub, you can. I mean, but you don't have to. I won't feel bad. Okay, look at this dog. He's done. Uh, I wish... I, I'm looking for the musical cue. You know... Yeah, there is none of that. Not yet, but I feel like that... They're saving maybe for like a boss fight yeah. or something. Oh, There's always this. like real tasteful fan service. What's in this? this? Like, it'll be it'll be cute. No, it's a little hound doggy. Pupper dog wants to it's fucking mess. It's a hater. Detective right. doggo pupper. It's a cer cerebus. It jumped through the window. I'm gonna burn this dog. Burn, burn that dog alive. Burn. This is so fucking good. Stagger that dog. Stagger that dog. Go back to Punisher mode. Yeah, I like I like hopping between Punisher. It feels like Devil May Cry, dude. I'm going Gunslinger. Yeah, it does. It does. And it does. It does not. Yeah, I love the crisp yeah, UI jump. of like web XP and items. So like the whole everything in this looks beautiful. God, I'm so fucking excited to play it. Okay, this is why I don't like demos. It gets me too fucking excited. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know what the fucking I don't know what to do. But to be fair, we are less than 20 days away. We are now look at this jump around. Final days Fantasy away. Seven watch. 16 days away. So, are they still releasing this in parts? Yeah. Okay. So again, that's that's the that's the the ill of it is it's like it's being launched as Final Fantasy 7 remake. Yeah. But it, it what should are they be gonna part call? one. Like Yeah, yeah. what do they call it? I part think, 2 yeah. and they just don't yeah. call part 1 part 1. Yep. That's it. That's interesting marketing. Yeah. Cuz it's going to confuse some people. Yep. Some some casuals. But you know what? You're going to get at least I mean, I don't know how fucking even if this game's 20 hours great. For me, shorter the better. But like Everyone, you're gonna be fucking sto stoked about this. You're gonna be wanting more. You're, yeah. You know, like they know what they're fucking marveling it up. They, you know, like yeah. give it to you in parts. You're I gonna, don't care. There's I'm, gonna I'm be. Stoked. They'll figure out some way to yeah. be uh, incorporate replayability into this. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. And then you will carry on that grinding yeah. probably into the next chapter. If anyone, I know we're in the demo, but if anyone can crack the Tifa new cheat for this, or oh, yeah, don't could... sell it as DLC. I bet that will be DLC. That yeah. could. But if any, hey, but hey, if, when that DLC goes on sale, cheap ass gamer, let me know. You know what though? Yeah. I would. I want the Zach nude cheat because I like a brunette, okay. kind of yeah, a yeah, yeah. cloud. So I mean, so handsome. Have, have but, they ooh, to have that brunette hair. Have they confirmed his cup noodles back in this? Did they get any? I saw Butterfinger. Butterfinger. We got Butterfinger a lot of butter. Oh, crispity, crunchity. A lot of uh, better not lay a finger on Cloud's Butterfinger yeah, dude, coverage. He's gonna fight for it. for it. That's weird, but Martin we know Homer. Square's gonna do it, which is kind of bullshit. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I don't mind the cup noodle. It's funny. It's it was legit, cooking. Cooking was integrated yeah. into the last game. This, unless it's integrated in a tasteful way, I don't know. But Metal Gear did it when you ate the Doritos and drank the Mountain Dew for HP. So maybe he eats like a potion and it does ether too. And maybe they're plentiful and I'll enjoy a crispity, crunchity, bite-sized, buttery finger blast. Hey, God. Or maybe a Butterfinger BB. Pervert. I don't know. George. It could. Both of them could be in it. Uh. Let's take the first break of the show. Hell Do you yeah. care about the audience? No. I care very much about the audience. All right. Uh, Frank, thank yeah. you so much <gasps> for being. Why is that? That's the wrong sound. Thank, thank you so much, Frank, for being on. Oh man, gonna be uh, happier. We'll be, be happier. right back. All right, don't leave. Brian, we're not going anywhere. We're not Do you going care anywhere. About the audience? I care very much about the audience. All right. You said yesterday in. You were greeting some fans, and you said to one kid, How you doing? You said, How old are you? How old are you? And the kid said, 12. 
12. Did you not drop yet? Did you drop your testicles yet? Right. With 12 year old. That's right. That's right. Exactly. How, how, how are you caring about this 12 year old? I'll tell you exactly how I'm caring about the 12 year old. What 12 year old in the United States? Show me the neighborhood where a 12 year old kid doesn't know what a pair of balls are yet. Hello? Hello? It's Buddy Gripple calling. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what is the problem? What is the ordeal here? Well, I don't know who you're looking for or what your problem is, but it's not with me and not at this number. I'm a friend of Rusty Savages. That's fine. I, I don't care know very much about the right. I saw you fussing with my shed and my levers. I don't know what your lever is or what shed you're talking about. Did you not drop yet? You, uh, I saw you grab hold of that pivotal lever down there. And I need it back. I don't know what you're talking and about. And I need you to promise me this ain't going to happen again, partner. I ain't going to promise you nothing. Now, if you call here again, you'll be reported. Do you understand that? I'll promise you a bandaging if you don't provide it at once, partner. I care very much about that. Right. Well, let me ask you something. Who are you looking for? Let, let me ask you something. I this show with you. There's no one good out here. Oh, it's a Leo There ain't no Rusty Savage here. There ain't no Rusty Savage here, guys, but we do have Discord callers we do. in the house, so let me hear them. Uh, Brian, should we talk to... Did your nuts drop yet? Anyone whose nuts have dropped yet, give Ooh. us give us a call in. Oh, we got some Jared. cat nuts. We got some cag nuts. Cag hey, nuts. uh... Cheap-ass uh, gamer Cheap-ass gamer boop, Jared. Boop. Definitely. Yeah, I heard my name. Deep I heard cheap-ass gamer from he, Frank, and I was like, oh, <laughs> he was asking for DLC? Well, oh, yeah. we're curious. Do you know about the Butterfinger tie-ins? We yeah, I, I I told everybody about it. Got a bunch of retweets. But, but what, yeah. you gotta, what you gotta do, Frank, is you gotta buy two Butterfinger products. You get the Baby Ruth or the Ooh. Butterfinger or the, um... Or the crunch bar. You gotta get that crunch get, bar or the. Yeah. Uh, see, I could go Butterfinger and crunch bar. I don't know if I would do Babe Ruth. What about you? I, I just like the Butterfinger. Yeah. You're just going two. You're going two shit. Butterfingers. Butterfinger you're not even baby. changing it up. No. Okay. And then right. what you gotta do is you got you gotta take your receipt and then you gotta take a picture of it and then you gotta upload it onto the Final Fantasy VII Butterfinger website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which Take is a picture. FF7R. That's my favorite oh. website. This yep. is yeah. this is how you viral market, right? Butterfinger. Yeah. Butterfinger. 
Is yeah, this and then in advanced and technique, then, and then you get you get you get one uh, you get a randomly uh, selected uh, PSN code, and there's rarity levels to each DLC. Oh, oh my god! god. This, and is, what, this is my Pokemon. I thought this the DLC. I thought the DLCs were going to be like a theme or one something small. Oh well, here, here's the thing: Random. everybody, everybody who submits two Butterfinger uh, uh, purchases gets a Tifa theme. Oh, okay. Oh, Best girl. I need it. Right. I need it. I need it. Now, I need all right. should, is there anything, any tie-in with the Butterfinger BBs? Because I like a bite those size. No, 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 Fuck. no. They don't make those anymore. They don't make there Butterfinger is. BBs anymore? <laughs> no. Fuck. I God care very much about that. Let's see when those were discontinued. I can't yeah. believe it, man. I like to mix them into my popcorn. 2006. I like to put them in my. They're like 13. Years they're on the shelf next to the candy cigarettes. Yeah, you pour them into your popcorn and it melts. Hey, the butter. candy cigarettes still exist. You can they get them. They do. They outlasted the Butterfinger BBs. Yeah. I Dude, want I want candy vape. There is a change.org petition to bring back yeah. Butterfinger BBs. So. Well, I maybe will... for Final Fantasy VII Part Two, they'll bring them back. I will give <laughs> advice to never sign the change.org so petition because then they get your email address. Oh, no, nightmare. And then they just keep fucking spamming yep. you with bullshit. You care once, hey, what's your, what's your, one time uh, your you about, never care. Your... about something. That's I wanted you to say, you know what it was? I'll tell you right now. I can't even make a dumb joke about what it was. Uh, it was, I wanted to save the Shea Cafe, which oh, we yeah. talked about on the PPS yeah. before, from being closed down, so I fucking signed a Still change. Still got closed. No, it, and, then no it got, and then it got back open. Reopened. We went Thankfully. there, remember? We Brian? saw yeah. regrets there, too. We, uh, we've seen some good shows we there, saw man. The uh, Frank and I saw the regrets. You and I saw Graf Orlock and a oh, bunch yeah. of hardcore we, bands. We opened with some Graf Orlock today, and I right. staggered this fool. Frank, this yep. game is, look at the fire Shout effects. Out to the look at that. Is that ray oh, tracing on amazing. this PS4? Damn. Oh my god. Do you guys know how to ray trace? That's fucking beautiful, dude. I just learned all about it. Charles told me. So, check it out. And it was all over PAX, dude. Ray tracing ray is here. Ray tracing is the future. Is dude. there any Butterfinger uh, tie-ins with ray tracing? Yeah, Butterfinger ray tracing. Uh, no, but what, what's your favorite Final Fantasy promotion of all time, Garrett? Uh, I, um, I do believe, I mean, promotion... I don't know that I Cause they, they've, remember. They've, done, they've, they've had uh, Lightning do Versace. Uh, oh, fuck all they, that. Had, they had Final Fantasy uh, 14 uh, Papa John's promotion. That's yeah, I don't. I'm not into that. I did play 14. They had a uh, Final Fantasy 9 Coca Cola. They had original Final Fantasy 7 Pepsi. God, That's you know nice. all like this shit. Pepsi oh, yeah. pick in the chat. The Final Fantasy 7 Pepsi is fucking godlike. Okay, all right. And then uh, what else? I like have? the PSN cover where that uh, was animated, cool. And I was like, I'm buying this game. I got oh, a yeah, PS. They got cup uh, right. I got a PlayStation <laughs> for Christmas one year, and with it I got Resident Evil and Final Fantasy VII. Oh my God, that and, is and wow. Twisted Metal. That's the best. There was a trifecta. That's incredible. Twisted Metal Two. There was a trifecta. Wow. Man, and that that kind of shaped that's pretty me. Good. Let's go. I think I think if you would have gotten Metal Gear Solid, it would you would have just like never came out of your house. Yeah, yeah. I got that. I had gotten that sometime <laughs> later. That was one of the first like, all right, birthday money. I'm buying that game. Uh, my sister got Jet Moto 2. Oh my god, hell yeah! Yeah, there was a Mountain Dew tie Mountain in there. Mountain Dew the game. Jet yeah. Moto 2. Holy shit! I played that. I remember playing that at Costco at a kiosk, a demo kiosk. <laughs> did you ever Did you ever get the Pizza Hut demo discs? No, I got. A I, did, of them. I did get the uh, the 360 games like Sneak King. Was that Burger King? Yeah, and, Burger uh, King. Had that. Yeah. Pocket Pocket Billiard. No, Pocket Racer. Pocket Bike Racer and Sneak Roulette King and Big Bumpin. I was talking to someone yeah. Big Bumpin at. Uh, I didn't know what they were talking about, and they kept saying Big Bumpin to me, <laughs> and I thought they were hitting on me at the booth at Pax East. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, 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 they were like, "Big, you remember those games? Big Bumpin, Big Bumpin." I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Big bumpin. What, are they, what is she saying? Big bumpin, I, like, big I remember bumpin. Sneak King. God, She's like, no, Big Bumpin, Big Bumpin. Big Bumpin, Big Bumpin, big bumpin. Yeah. Butterfinger. It's like, damn, dog. And then she, and then she, bent, she bent over and said, Big Bumpin, come on. Big Bumpin, Big Bumpin. <laughs> uh, Pax East was a lot of fun, uh, despite coronavirus scares. Yeah, we survived. We survived the hot zone. Everyone was, everyone was all fucking scared shitless, man. Yeah. Has, has, has there been any any kind of news of some somebody getting affected because of it? I don't yet, know. I don't no? fucking read the news. Yeah, you can't oh, okay. trust that. Fake news. Oh, okay. I don't. I I just know people were scared. I started seeing people wearing masks. Not too many. Yeah. But some. And uh, that's when I know. It, 
it's fucking real. Is that, is that what Majora's Mask is? So they yeah. wore some couples. I saw cute anime drawings on the outside of the mask, and they were oh, holding hands, cute. walking through PAX East. I was like, oh, that is cute. Uh, it was so cold there, it would kill anything, any virus. Yeah. Cough into the air all you want. I, yeah, it, pe people don't get the flu during the winter. Hell no, <laughs> dog. That shit would get frostbitten right to yeah, hell. Yeah. yeah. The virus can't survive in such an atmosphere. <laughs> It was like, like the, the thing. moon. It's like the thing. When I walked you, outside, you, you know why people get uh, colds and stuff in the winter, right? Yeah, I know, I know. They 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 have weak, poor immune no, systems. No, and They no. can't fucking hold it together like yours ba truly. Basically, what it is is people stay I take supplements, more often. Jared. I'm talking about mushroom oh, okay. organic immune boosting oh, yeah. supplements, Brian. You got them cordyceps? We gotta get sponsored by Ohm. Or maybe this uh, Stamets brand I've been yeah, trying to get. Yeah, down, dude. I've been trying to get a sponsor for like a year. You gotta Frank, get sponsored by Joe Rogan? Out. I'm into it. Let's go. Frank, Frank you, got you got the, the Stamets 7 for right. most defense. Sounds good. It's a uh, mushroom mycelium powder All right. for your daily immune support. Yeah, like a Mario you got mushroom. the lion's mane for mental clarity and focus. Need there. That. You got you got to have that for yeah, gaming. That. Math homework. You want a gaming edge? Don't drink that sugar shit. Fuck that. Do. Fuck all that noise. That's gonna pollute your Boo. body. It's not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be a good look. But that energy support, you take the cordyceps. Oh. Stack it on. One, two, three. You can't We're get just getting that. started. That that's is just. Right. Started. That's just like the first. That's just the first sip. <laughs> Healthy. That's how that you know. That's how I keep uh, Corona at bay. I just build that immune system strong. But I I, I think the cold weather it could affect uh, some weaker, yeah. you know, older gamers. Yeah. That that like Corona is affecting like, old are, people or like for preschoolers, like Fortnite kids. My yeah, girlfriend, baby gamers. Jared, yeah. tell me if you think this is real. My girlfriend told me that she oh. heard Corona is uh, psyop oh, to kill boomers. I hope so. I don't. I don't oh, know. Brian, don't we all that. know and love boomers, right? Ah, I know them. Yeah, but I mean, you love them. You gotta. You Is gotta your, love are them. Are your mom people. and dad boomers, Brian? Exactly. Some of these. No. Some of these people may be related to you, right? Technically, none of my family is a boomer because we immigrated here in '89. Yeah. What? Wait. What does that have to do with it? It's an age thing. Well, yeah. I mean, it's an age. No. Thing, it's a socioeconomic thing. Like baby, baby boomers come from the people who were born after. Oh, the I world see. You're you're using a you're using a a, a more ba defined basic, description than the yeah. pop trivia buzzword yeah. of the day. Yeah. 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 You're I, using. Basic, Original connotation. Yeah. What are you gonna say, Jared? You saw basically everybody after World War II got home and went got to banging, basically. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to get to banging? Yeah, in Lebanon, they, I mean, they, they, they were already banging, but they, they were too worried about the next civil war coming up. I'm getting horny now, just thinking about it. I'm getting, I'm not about the civil war. I'm not getting horny about that, yeah. but I am thinking about banging in Lebanon, and and <laughs> I bet you there's like a whole another Kama Sutra, <laughs> and a whole another. I, what are, are there any aphrodisiacs? Uh, from the Lebanese cuisine, stuff that just gets your juices flowing? Weed. Personally. I mean. uh, oh, personally. Oh, yeah. What dude, does it uh, for you? Uh, I had it on the on the Christmas cast a couple years back. The, oh, that, you tell. That liquor. Arat. Oh, Arat. I'm getting yeah, horny now. Yeah, that shit, that oh, shit is. I've smelled, oh, I've smelled that shit, man. That, that is a beautiful anise black, like, just Set, like just Woo. beautiful flavor of just that nice. Uh, what, I mean, what, it's what, like licorice. Yeah, licorice. Black licorice. I, I kept wanting to say sesame, but it's not sesame. It's Frank. Have you tried this guy's at at? Mm -mm. It's like an AT AT from Star oh, Wars. Oh yeah, you gotta spin yeah, yeah. around, <laughs> right? Rope it down, then it falls over, and that's how you defeat him. Yeah, exactly. This exactly. shit is. Um, it's uh, it looks like down, you could use it to cast flame or something. Uh, you can. Simmer I mean, uh, I've seen spirit. you light it on fire. I, my favorite thing to do with Ada is to pour somebody a glass of just the pure shit. Look how cool her fucking Isn't outfit. Isn't it cool? Like she has the, like again the style. They nailed that perfect they style with it. the shoulder pads and the and the metal chest plate and like the conic boobs. Perfect. Careful in there. And <laughs> like, but Ada is is very specifically like. Strong. You're supposed to mix it with water. Yeah. It's supposed to help make it sweet. And then that makes it like uh, milky almost. Yeah, yeah. It's clear, it but then when you add the water, it kind of goes. Uh, it reacts with the oil of the anise, and it ah, and it refracts light. the uh, the light, so it makes it white. 
and it makes it a little sweeter. But yeah, on its own, that shit is strong. So and if you <laughs> just if it's you really my if business, you put a flame to it, it will close? burn blue. Jared, did I did I get you to try that when you were down here last summer? Oh, I don't I don't drink. Uh, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. He didn't uh, he didn't try to ply you with uh, alcohol for cheap ass tips. No, he no, didn't. I don't think he offered, but I just don't drink liquor anyway. So, Jared, I'm a man of uh, your resolve as well, and uh, I can only have a sniff every now and then. Uh, a little sweet sniff little sniff, sniff, a sweet little sniff across the breath of my friend Brian, and I get all <laughs> I get all the sensations I need. Yeah, exactly. Woo! smells strong, baby. Uh. Yeah, I'm uh, glad you called in, Jared. I'm glad you updated yep. us on the Butterfinger always, BB's always. situation. Good, good, good to get uh, a whole group of uh, big dogs in the room together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have fun with your BBs. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you soon. I love J-Dog. What a, what a blast. Have you, speaking of BBs, have you beat death training yet no and i am five starred everyone like i said delivered all the pizzas last fucking story mission i just gotta do it i started playing doom you know i i have when i got back from the tour i like i started playing doom and then i finished five starring though after that i purposefully not played death strain have you not finished either no it, like okay, I want, five. I want. That's fucking sick. I, I don't We're on the same page. Stop. Like, I don't either. I, I'm like chapter nine or ten, and, and I just got to the new area right after pain. crossing the tar pit. Yeah. And it's like, really okay, yeah, you're, you're you're not in the home stretch. I'm sure you still have at least ten hours of actual like story mission to go. Yeah. But I just I don't want to play it because I don't want it to be over. I'm not ready for it to end. Once and it's done, it's done. I gotta get to it before this in rush. I yeah. mean. I March twentieth. That's the, the first now. deadline. About the next five Frank, seconds. we're close. Yeah. Save oh yeah. For later. It's uh, fuck. It's time to pay the rent. Shit. Oh yeah. And fucking taxes. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn. Fucking applaud for that. <laughs> Sucks. You know what that sounds like? Sounds like this. Oh. You like this song, Frank? Oh yeah. The spirit is real. The spirit is real, Frank. And uh, thank you for sitting uh, and braving this cutscene. Oh yeah. It's uh. It, it's probably important to the story as we are uh, not paying attention. It's the demo. You're going to play it we'll again. We'll never know. You're going to play it again. We'll we never know. Play and play you're again. absolutely right. We will fucking play yeah. it again. And we play it 20 years ago. Exactly. exactly. Oh, and I get an ally Do you... after this commercial break. Well, Sorry, yeah. Brian. Wait. We want to hold that? Error, error. Do we what? Does Barrett Wallace's name come from Marcellus Wallace? Think about these things. Wow. And let's get back to it after the concept of of love.
tame for me. The concept of love. It's uh, it's hard to understand sometimes. It can be tricky. Uh, but thank you for bearing with uh, for bearing with us. Bearing with us, Frank. Ah! Ah! Fucking kidding. Me. Yeah. yeah. Let's get back to the action. Uh, I can finally pick another character. Yeah. What do you so Cloud can't reach oh, up there. Oh, he got a gun. He can shoot. So yeah, you can, just, you can hold that shit down till it burns Sounds out. Sounds fucking rad. You can, oh, um, so yeah, so once it burns out, zoom in. you can do the overcharge. Yes. And I've so built like, up two overcharges. So this is something that I don't think I realized when I was playing Kingdom Hearts, is that the whole point of these games is to build up your, like, ATB. Once you have your ATB or your combos built up, you're supposed to combo on combo on combo. Yeah. I didn't get that when I played Kingdom Hearts. I spent uh, 50 hours mashing X or square, whatever the attack button was in that game. I'm going to cure And cloud. it was bl bland, boring, and fucking just lazy. This, I don't know what they did to make that difference, but they, they definitely made this more engaging and a lot more fun. Like, what you're doing right now is, like, so much fun, and it's super easy to bounce between Barrett and, lock back on. and Cloud. It's really cool. Oh, these guys are back. Let's try some thunder. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. no valid target yet. There we go. Oh, it's going to now prompt me on. Uh, yeah, it's going to tell you what you got to do. Issuing commands to allies. The I still don't really understand that. It's like L1 or R1. The Don L zone says that the camera might be an issue in this game. But you know what? I'm moving around. I feel good. There's I can switch straight. to cloud now. Yeah, and there's actually a lot of uh, controls for the camera in the settings. You can you can move the camera back. Uh, Brian and I had this conversation on a Big Dog stream like a month or two ago. When I kind of laugh when people complain about camera stuff. Like, if that's a, if that's a valid concern for you, go for it. But I, I always think back to how shitty stuff was on N64 yeah. and PlayStation, and it's like... Any contemporary game is no fucking. I went yep. through like fucking, god like Glover or any shitty Sonic platformer. Adventure. It's like anything now is so like looking how gorgeous this game is. I don't care like it, it yeah, doesn't having, affect me at all. I, I'm seeing no real issues with the yeah. camera. So I bet far. I bet if you had Butterfinger DLC, oh, the camera's even better. Dude. Probably. Dude. I bet at loosed all the but you get the Butterfinger. It loosens the tripod. You can yep. zoom Grease. out the lens. Those gears. Yeah, Do absolutely. you think you get, like, I, I hope there's one where the blade is a bar, a Butterfinger bar. Uh, and it leaves, like, a chocolate shit yeah. smear wow. on like, the chin yeah. of your enemy. And, and, and a lot of uh, Shinra, the, the bad guys, they're they're allergic to peanuts. Oh. Yes, and that so is shove made. Shove that Butterfinger on them, they fucking. It's made in a factory the, that uh, handles raw nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, yeah. you're, it. you're fucked. See, that, these, are, these are, what is Rufus? It? They're like PETA. They're like you're fucked, Rufus. Green, the green peace terror. Um, I don't know exactly where I was supposed to go. I like very Doom esque uh, compass on the top. You know here. what? Oh, yeah. I was just about to say if you, I think if you click R three, or if you touch the touchpad map screen. Yeah, but oh. you can actually get a mini map instead on, of really? the compass. How do you do that? I think it's either R three or L three. You got this in the demo? Yeah. That How did I do, do it? That didn't do. Uh, maybe it was like toggle up, objective, current position, up or down on the on the D pad. Maybe do, 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 do. how did I do it? I don't, I don't remember. Know. You're cool, but there's depth. Thank you. There's definitely a way <laughs> to get as uh, a mini map on Inventory the screen. Inventory spells instead. manual, maybe system, maybe options. I, I I remember it being like a button. Press. Oh, here's camera and control. Yeah, so you oh, can so set you the can, distance. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you can make this whatever exactly. you want, and you, it's probably in here, right? No. I don't no, see anything it, it was map. like, uh, man, how was it? Uh, mini Maybe it's on map. gameplay. D -d -d mini map, static FF. or dynamic? Let's go dynamic. I just found it, Brian. Uh, let's see. Static or wait, now it doesn't look like it changed at all. No, I think it's the shoulder buttons. Oh, look, oh there it is. Oh my god, they have buttons on dynamic. the PlayStation controller on top. Oh my now, god, that to me is way better for this game. 
then it, it says the, we're supposed to go here. Or no, this is where we came. No, that's where you guys came. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so this you like better than the Doom esque compass at the top for, uh, for RPG, RPG? Yes, because I think I do too. They bro. don't have the three D map that Doom has. Thank you. And I, the three D map that Doom awesome. has is absolutely be like so perfect for that. Yes, for that type of game. Yeah. But amazing, what what engine is this? I guess is this close to what the Final Fantasy 15 game engine was? Let's see. Have you heard anything about that, Frank? No, I'm. Did, did you play much of Final Fantasy 15? Um, I did all the monster hunting in Final Fantasy 15. Like I love just taking bounties and going out in the wilderness and hunting. As far as the story, I like stopped. I, yeah. I still got like I feel like 30 hours out of the game. I feel like I played a lot of it. And I was like, all right, this is fun, and I got bored of it. I kind of just did yeah. the first area yeah. and like some bounties, and I just I wasn't vibing. I beat yeah. the game with the game. You beat the fucking game. Yeah, Brian, congratulations. Uh, Final, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy stuck with it. Final Fantasy VII is on the Unreal Engine. This uh, is, and Unreal. it does come out actually April 10th, 2020. Um, but I, uh, I I I played through. 15 over a few months and genuinely would not recommend it to anybody. <laughs> yeah. And, and it was it was a very big barrier for me uh, wanting to buy this game because I heard it was very similar to this and Kingdom Hearts 3 and I was God, I'm not sick of Kingdom impressed. Hearts 3. I, I watch a lot of that game. Dude, Kingdom Hearts 3 was the most shallow and yes. like empty, empty game. Empty repetitive just uh, uh, obnoxious, uh, can I say? <laughs> yeah, it just it didn't it didn't have any of the charm that a Square game has. Like Square games are cool because they give you a shit ton of con the content. Yeah. And Final Fantasy, I'm sorry, Kingdom Hearts three. Wow. Didn't have anything. You would go to a new stage and there was nothing to explore. You just go down a straight line, finish the fucking stage, and leave. Dudes, I'm telling you, when Trish was starting up the DLC to start playing that, <laughs> I was like, "This again? Like you can't, you can't do this again. Like you hated this all the way through it." And you, she's like, "Yeah, but I had the season pass. Yeah. So oh. like, I have it, or what? You know, I had it up front, the collector's edition with uh, everything. Yeah. Back for more." I mean, it's cool, and, and, and again, now that I've seen, like, pro players go through it and see that it's about, like, timing and doing all of these summons. There's definitely, and like, all of the, like yeah. yeah, they've worked in an action gameplay. I mean, definitely, like, you can just button mash square and fucking, if you're grinded and buff, yeah. you probably blast your way through this game. Yeah, and, and that's why it's cool. Like, in this game, again, you can hold down square instead of giving There's that like, easy mode. X. And, like, it, it does all that. Then you can hit X to do all of these tactical attacks with, you know, the limit. Well, the limit breaks are its own thing. It's about to be, yeah. But, I mean, like, you're seeing them doing these braver and, and thrust. It, it's a nice pause when it goes into that bullet time away from the action. Yep. But the action feels fucking cool. And now, like, I want to switch to fucking Barrett yep. and blast off with these fucking big guns. Then I want to do one of his abilities. Mind blow Let's soon. steel skin his ass up to make him fucking and impenetrable. So just like Kingdom Hearts, if you want to bring up your actions menu to do those moves, you can hold L1 and you have a shortcuts menu that brings up your ATB summons oh really yeah. what the so, fuck see, i didn't know this braver focus shot and potion from there but skill skin again yeah, and then you can hold you can press l2 to switch between the character attacks so if you are cloud and you want to control something that barrett's doing you could just go you just tap l2 Barrett and then go and then fucking use a potion real quick if he has it so but to build atb meter you have to actively use that character. yeah yeah all right i'm fucked up oh god damn so it, there That's is, sick, dude. Yeah, there I didn't is know a that. strategy. So, I, there's ways where you're going to start to learn after hours and hours of this game, like all these little like shortcuts probably. like It probably won't be that hard to pick up. I don't think so. That, I'm a little fucked up here right now, but I guess I can just do, yeah, shortcut to focus shot. Yep. But I can also switch to, now I'm not cloud or I am cloud? Now you are cloud. Okay. So now you're doing your normal attacks. So you can hold down square and he'll just do his... <laughs> Regular attacks. Staggered. Staggered. So what I love about what they've done with this game is that they try to eliminate things that you don't need to do in video games anymore. So in a JRPG that's a turn-based RPG, you don't need to do a regular attack technically. Because you're going to probably do a regular attack every move, right? Yeah. Unless you're doing some sort of setup or a summon or some sort of like 
a status effect move. So it just kind of spams your so regular if, attack. Exactly. So if you just, you hold, just hold down, it down. square, it, it spams your your melee attack, but okay. then you can hit X and go into your menu and do your... Why is the screen all in oh, this shit. position? Whoa. <laughs> but yeah. Fooled me once. Shame on me. So, they, yeah, there's no jumping. There isn't, like, even, like, trying to vault over your, uh, things that you need to jump over. Yeah, it's like auto. Auto does that. I wish there was jump in this. That's the, I, the first I, thing I, do, I when I saw Brian playing yes. it, the first thing I asked was, like, wait, can you jump? No. I do what feel weird fuck? not being able to jump because I walk around doing God, this a lot. I want to jump so much. Yeah, hey, Cloud's so, got heavy boots. So that is one thing that I would agree with. I would like to be able to jump whenever I want. That's fucked up. Just but like I like Kingdom how Hearts, but they're going to lock you into the world. I don't know. You don't need to jump around. And 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 so this is the one thing where I where I'm a little bit torn between two masters. Ooh. I two love, masters? Yes. I love JRPG turn-based combat. Reactor sure. Core. But it's boring. Set the bomb at the bottom. It for 60 hours mm -hmm. of a game. Fight Summon or yeah, magic, those, that's run a, an item. That's an old game mechanic that exists in all those old games still. Yep. But this is modern gaming doing a Final Fantasy exactly. 7. Exactly. And what I what I love about it's, this, it makes a lot of sense, is that it updates the gameplay. Well, remember how much praise we all gave? Uh, I don't know, Frank. Did you play that? That what was that Wii game? Xeno Saga, the one that. Xeno, so there's Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. uh, and they cut out all the bullshit, yep, yep. and it was just gain XP for everything. Uh, we're gonna fast travel you like right off the bat for stuff. Like, it, it was just super fucking smart. And this, I believe, is going to be built in that way, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm respects, praying for it. It respects this player's time so they can maximize the amount of fun they're having instead of wasting time. Again. And watch yeah. the beautiful cutscenes. Because right now, oh, in yeah. this Unreal Engine, dude, like, good. this is great. I mean, really, I want to get a good shot of Barrett. Right? Like, I, I can't. it looks. And, th and you're playing on just this is a vanilla fucking, PS4. This is a launch PS4. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. On like, and we're in 720. And, and, and Why I'm, does this keep getting dragged over? The maybe I'm maybe I'm accidentally moving, moving it. When oh, I'm, when like, you're grabbing clicking. the mouse. Yeah. So sorry, guys. But uh, shame on me. Yeah, the shame on like, you. What I what I like about this game is that if they if they gave me the exact same game with up res graphics, I wouldn't care. I played Final Fantasy VII, and I love the art style and presentation of the original Final Fantasy VII. I yeah. don't care that he looks like Popeye. I don't give a fuck <laughs> that it's that's polygons. The, uh, that's the appeal of it now. It's, it's, it's that far away. Style. Yeah, it's that far away that it's like, it's retro. Yes, so give me that. I don't mind that for that kind of game, but if you're going to reinvent and remaster the game, do something totally different. This part, as far as I remember, was not in Final Fantasy VII. I remember these crazy long ladders. Click uh, click L three. Uh, while you're hold while you're going down, you should. Oh, sick, dude! See, Slide there's down. little things they don't even shell you. Yeah. All right, this is dope. Right, like I. Yeah, there's more and more. I love it. They updated it. Yeah. They didn't just give you the same game again. Like, I don't want to play the exact same game. I do want an updated version of it. And if it wasn't for Resident Evil Two Remake, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah, yeah, that was really. Honest. That's kind of the first. Do you, do you agree with that too, Frank? I, that seems like Resident Evil Remake was the first of these to really like. All right, we're just paying homage, but it's modern gameplay. I mean, that was like your favorite game. Well, of I mean, and then there's also wasn't it? like, well, yeah, because like I was trying to think of Doom, but Doom's more of a reboot. But yeah, like yeah. There's, there's remasters well, that's and then the there's remakes. Doom's like, a good yeah. example yeah. though. 2016 Doom is a great example. So you're good. you're right with that. I'd say Resident Evil 2, Doom, uh, these games are the first things that I've really liked playing in a remaster. Everything up until then was just, all right, GTA 5 is now on the PS4 as well as on, you know, what I had it on PS3. It's up res graphics, but it's, you know, there were all these times I was buying my games again in oh, like, yeah. I don't know, five years ago. Now, not so much. No. Now they're totally just <laughs> can't come up with any new ideas, but uh, at least it's the good ideas they're remastering. Yeah. I, I, sorry, and, sorry, truth hurts. I don't know. And I feel like we have to always remember we're at that point now where video games have been around for almost 40 years. 
Like, yeah. Like, let's be honest. The... Are all the good guys? Are all the good games out or what? There's so many coming out soon. I'm so fucking. Good. I don't know. I don't think there's anything good. I think the industry is ruined. Oh my god. Uh, but there really is a fucking ton that's coming out. Yeah, and we have 40 years of gaming. Like, listen. L l you let's can always go it, back to the old stuff. Let's put it this way, right? Like. You have movies like, this is a deep cut, but Solaris. You okay. have the Russian version of Solaris, which Ooh. is a absolute slow, methodical. They do remake a lot of movies too. Fucking terror fest. Then you have the George Clooney version of Solaris. Clooney. And it's very, very similar, but it's very westernized because it's not made in Russia, and so it makes more sense for this culture. And it's newer, so it has a different sort of connectability to people. What I like about this is the same thing that um, Japan has been doing with their properties for the last 20 or 30 years. And I mentioned this before here and a bunch of other places. Oh, here's that thunder. Whether you like... A great example is Evangelion. Yeah. You can either read the manga, or you can watch the anime, or you can watch the rebuilds, or you can get the mobile game, or you can all. download the... You know, the OAVs or whatever the fuck you want. Whatever platform you want yeah. in, whatever style, whatever presentation, it's available. It's just cool they're making more of these uh, beloved franchises. Yes. I never I never thought... Uh, now I'm smart enough to where I realize, like, they're going to rebake and reboot everything. Like, in enough time, yep. there will be, like, Harry Potter yep. rebate yep. or, like, remakes. There will be, like... Forever continuing the machine. How many Charlie's Angels remakes have there been? Exactly. You know? But, you know, I, as, a, as a kid and even as someone in uh, in my 20s, I didn't see that, like, oh, yeah, we'll we'll get that. Like, yeah. Now I do see that, and it's like, yeah, there's hope. And then, I guess for, for some stuff. Yeah. And then the other part of it is... Because like, it brings back it brings back an homage and like uh, it'll make the old stuff popular again. Like I bet you the first game, the PS One classic or whatever, yeah, will sell big numbers on PlayStation Network once this launches. Like after kids beat it, they're like, I want to go back and play the because original. Because the re the the upresed original presentation version is beautiful. It's got that fast forward. It has a, all it's right. all on PS Four, so you can download that. Yeah, fuck it, you can get it on your phone if you want to play it on your. Apple TV, you can play go it on your Apple TV. You can play office. it on your computer. You can Prove do it me, in a million different TV ways. Again, the idea is about getting us. you Never into the property, the not the gameplay itself on its own. Because fuck it, you're not going to necessarily done. like this style, but if you love Final Fantasy VII, here it is for you. Here's a new version of it. Yeah. Then the other part of it is licensing. It's been about 20 years since this game came out. They don't want to lose their copyright to oh, Final Fantasy. Oh, that's another and interesting all their characters. thing. So the way to make sure that you're holding you make on a the new copyright thing. is to constantly be using your property. Uh, maybe and that's have... what Resident Evil was doing with those uh, shitty CG movies every, like, two, three years. Oh, yeah. You got to keep that, keep that license <laughs> yeah, uh, Sony price has little, up. Yeah, Sony <laughs> Yeah. Wildstorm make a comic every now and then. No, we're still using it. We're exactly. doing stuff. With the, we're doing if, new stuff. If you're we're still, we're back in the resurgence now. But there was a dry spell. That's how Disney has kept Mickey Mouse's image as their mascot for the last hundred years, basically. Because well, they rewrote copyright laws in a way, right? Like where yeah. their shit, no matter what, doesn't expire. By actively using your property, you yeah. you are you. Basically, the, like, to, to dumb down the explanation, if you're actively using that mascot and making constant changes of however small they are, then you still But it's still own called property. Mickey Mouse, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, that's why they, they, the original Mickey Mouse looks kind of different from this Mickey Mouse that we now see. That's why Cloud looks slightly different than the Cloud that we remember, but still the same. I think that's probably why they redo Ronald McDonald every couple of years. Hell yeah! Everything is redone. Burger King gets a facelift. The Jack in the Box yep. guy. Everything is redone so that well, it is an active dodge. property. <laughs> Uh, I think for this you need to do lightning in the first stage. So oh yeah, Brian. Barrett. Uh, Barrett. I called him Brian. Hey, dude, I'd, I'd be happy to be Barrett. He's got fucking gun arm. Um, He's got Tifa on his arm too. Uh, I don't know who's going. But yeah, I, I mean the fact that they're that they're putting an effort in is cool. You know, like rather than just releasing some BS, blah blah blah. 
recreation of the game that we've all played again. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I get it. I, I get what some of the people in the chat are saying about, I don't like that they changed this. I don't like that they changed that. I don't like these things are the other. Your original game still exists. Final Fantasy 17 is unchanged and updated, so you can play it on PS4 and still have 1080p beautiful graphics. Don't have to grind through bullshit with, you know, real-time waiting. You can fast-forward. You can do auto-engage and all of these shit. But going group. gauntlet mode. Here is it's a called? new version. Uh, I think it's called a... Uh, Generator? Yeah, some generator operator. Was this a uh, mode or something? I forget what the other one. But oh, like shit. you know, the idea is that here is something that is the original game Damn it. Need to heal up. in basic concept, but now you get to re explore that original game. And I and I was saying that earlier because it, it's a real it's a big deal. Like the coolest thing for me in most video games is exploring the world. That's why I love Resident Evil games. That's why I love JRPGs, because you explore the so world. So what you're saying is that you're excited to come back to the world of Final Fantasy VII because <laughs> you're so limited in, in the first way you played it, but it's great to be able to like actually walk around and see the fucking camera spin like this. And yeah, if you're going to come back and do it, do it in do a it totally big. new way. Yeah, yeah. Or, or from a different perspective. And so this, is this great. does that. What do you think uh, about a Resident Evil 4. I was talking to Kevin about this when we were at PAX. Like, is it time for a Resident Evil 4 remake after they do 3? No. I, I Or is that too soon of gameplay? He I, said he's ready. I I think if you want to remap Resident Evil 4 with HD graphics so that it looks newer, you can do that all you want. Well, they've done that like every... How many yeah, versions... It's not, I, I, yeah. I mean, I mean, how many versions do you have, Frank? Completely yeah. reskin it. Like, with these types of textures. Like, make the game over entirely. Then maybe I would be down to getting it all over again. But all they've done is make it cleaner in 1080p or 4K. So no, I don't, I don't, I don't need a re-release because it's also built off of a current gen model that works and works for that game. Style. Yeah, but I don't know, man. If like they if, did, they... if Capcom did Resident Evil 4 remake, I would play it. No fucking question. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If it was in that same game yeah, if, they, engine, if they did it, I would play it. Doesn't like. Yeah. yeah, if it's in that RE it. engine, I, I I don't know, man. I, I think it might yeah. it might be a good jump to remake that within the next two years or so. Yeah. However, uh, the, we'll see. The Donnell Zone says if they made like a Code Veronica or like you know that kind of oh, update, yeah. that would be more interesting to me. Because I don't look at Resident Evil 4 and think like, oh my god, Code Veronica. Oh, this oh, needs to be updated. I want, okay, I want that. Now. Yeah, right. Code like, Veronica is so out there though, like with all I that weird globe trotting shit, That's like where you go to Antarctica. Yeah. Yeah. We fight Nostra Do you think we want to go? Yeah, that's such a weird Yeah, that would be amazing. That game is so fucking gun. I am Alfred West, West, whatever. Alfred Ashford of the Angela family. Oh, yeah, yeah. The cross dressing Ashford. Alexa Ashford and Alexa. The Ashford clan is. Like, it's so. Yeah. Gonzo. Fuck yeah, it'd be so amazing. He is his sister. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't see That's them so remaking that after Steve three. Burnside, come on, dude. I see them doing four before they do Code God, Veronica no, Code after Veronica. three. Did that miss? You can actually miss. Yeah, you can. That's fucking crazy. Um, I think in this you need to do fire at this point, and does it let you target? Oh, no. So you're I did the scorpion. Uh, yeah, I, I did target his oh that just fucking generated again yeah because he's supposed to have like a uh, like a shield generator that you're supposed to target too and so yeah that's the other thing like you can still stop and target specific things that you attack in this game it's just that the normal regular attack thing potions. like again back in the oh, old school day you down. had four options you had fight magic item and summon Instead of fight magic item and summon in this game, you can just hold down square for fight, and you just do your normal attack. And then when you have when you have ATV, then you can do your fun special moves. It's reinterpreting the old gameplay, and I think that's great. Oh, shit. Again, Resident Evil 2 
updated what made Resident Evil 2 so fucking cool, which was exploring the mansion and solving the missions. They are solving the puzzles. They changed the puzzles out so that they were totally different. Yeah, yeah. But you still kind of knew what they were, so you knew where to go and what you had to kind of do. You are a passionate man, Brian, again, about the... The uh, the remakes. Yeah, today. because if you're gonna make a remake, <laughs> you it, love them. It's kind of like it's kind of like making a cover of. But a song. what about new IPs? Don't you want new properties from these uh, I companies? I would prefer new properties. But if you're going to remake an old game, make a change. I do think we are in this mode. This this, it's always been this way where they sell nostalgia back to you. Yes. And in the 70s, it was what, you know, our folks were fucking being sold back to. You yeah. Know? And now it's definitely what we saw in the 80s and the 90s being, like, given back to us. Absolutely. But uh, I I really can't complain because it's a tried and tested, like, thing I'm a fan of already. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. This review so far, though, I mean, it's been overwhelmingly positive. When's dance class. When's dance class. I would love to see a Dino Crisis remake Nitro Dubs brings up in the chat. A Dino Crisis getting... remake would be so fucking cool. People uh, people have said that. I've heard that. Might be good. So it, the, oh, that's that that's one of the cases where it's like, well, you know what? It's probably unlikely that they're going to remake a Dino Crisis because it didn't have the same sort of fan reception. That's a cult following. So That's a hardcore I, survival horror fan. That's some carcinogen uh, retrospective shit. Exactly. So I would implore those who want more games like Dino Crisis to actually develop new games. So that's the counter of it. We're at this point in, in development where anybody can genuinely create a 32-bit polygon-looking game on their own. Frank and I on Big Dogs played this PS1 demo disc of new games. New games on a PS1 demo disc. So it was. It, it looked like PS1, but yeah, it was basically they they made like a Resident oh, Evil Limit Break Time boys. remake. They made a a uh, Silent Hill follow up they did like, oh wow well, yeah like you would love it here we what? should it's pc we should play it i should check that out yeah yes. i loved what we did on dreams just seeing like homemade like yeah. versions and homages to you know and it's like that classic it, game it, so if you want that 32-bit style people are still making those games but if you're if there's you a want, lot of survival horror on steam yeah, that's if, like that right if you want a new so dino crisis and you feel so inclined you know what fucking make it <laughs> True. Fucking make it, as Brian says. Hey, <laughs> let's hit this limit break. Frank, are you ready for this shit? Yeah! Let's do it. Uh, cross limit, slash. Limit, 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 limit. Coming, coming at ya. Do the mind blow. Mind and blow. I think I get... Oh, look at that. Two, three. Oh! Boom, baby. Chrissy, he's fucked up. He's pressured. He's got mad pressure, dog. He, we're going into cutscenes. Oh, shit. Can I dodge these? Oh, they're blowing up everything around us. Yeah. Oh hell no. Nah. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that laser, Barrett. No, you don't. Don't get oh, hit. Oh shit. Oh oh oh. Get behind the Debris. After you. I can peek out early because I saw he was targeting Cloud instead. Yeah, so that's the fun part. You can bounce between the two characters now. So there is, again, there is that strategy of playing an RPG, but it's not going to make you play the same game over again. Uh, right. the, the reason why I'm so passionate hey. about it is that I don't like remakes that just make you replay the game exactly over sure. again. Yeah, well, I've never played a remake of an RPG really before, I think. Yeah, you know, you're I've right. played the sequels, the remakes, but this is, this is like a new territory. Well, fuck. Oh, did Phoenix. fucking Cloud die? Oh, shit, guys. Yeah, you gotta do, do, do Bring on X. Phoenix down. There's also all the Pokemon. They would remake those because they, they remade Blue. They remade Silver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I played Soul Silver, uh, but I didn't play the first Silver, so, I you know, I didn't know then. So it's kind of like, I guess, what it's intended for. Oh, what am I trying to do? The Phoenix potion. Down. 
I did do uh, I did do Ruby Red and like those remakes and Soul Silver and all of that. So yeah, I, I mean I played those and and for those they made the game over a one to one again and it was cool because they updated the graphics. Oh and fuck, he nice. went down oh, yeah, just you after. You guys also talked about uh, one, of your, one of your favorite games last year was Link's Link's Awakening. Yeah, so Link's Awakening was a great game that that built off of the original style but updated it. So that was a great example of making the game almost exactly over again, but then updating it so that it was convenient for modern, you have to take cover, yeah. um, for modern times. So in that game, they gave you all the shoulder button commands, all of the extra buttons that you had from having four buttons on the front and two shoulder buttons, so you could benefit from that. That is a great way to take oh, the old property, make it one Phoenix for one. Last Phoenix down. You okay? And I think that that's, that that's all it is. It's like, we're at this point now where when we were younger, graphics were a huge sell for things. Like, the graphics looked better, the game was better, the gameplay was better. And a good example sure. of that was Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear, to the uh, upgrade of Metal Gear Solid that 2. that remake, Twin Snakes, I fucking oh, yeah. love. I fucking love Twin yeah, Snakes. Yeah, I love Twin Snakes. Right? I like, totally forgot about, yeah, dude, yeah. Twin Snakes. And, and that's one that some, some nerds are upset about. I fucking love Twin Snakes. I yeah, I mean... It. I'm always gonna just. I, I used to get kind of pissed about like don't remake. Like there was a, a lot of talk about remaking uh, Ava in like a live, uh, a live, live action? action movie, like oh, an American yeah. movie. And I used to get so fucking pissed, but then I realized like nah, the old shit still exists, yep. and I, I'm fine. Like yeah, uh, that, that's why. My like, cassettes aren't going anywhere. The conversations of remakes is always the most tiring thing for me. Cause it's like, it doesn't affect me at all. If you don't want it, you don't have to play it. But for new, for fucking kids, they're going to play something on their fucking system. It's accessible. True. That is for them to digest it. Like, and it's going like, to make your yeah. shit. Yeah. It's going to boost the signal of the old shit. So yeah. that's how Ava so gets benefits, on Netflix. It benefits everyone. So anytime people complain about remakes, remasters, it makes me want to throw up. It's like, it's so fucking boring. Exactly. I hate, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see... Yeah. A lot of complaints. I got a good Twitter, I'll say. The, yeah. the bottom line comes down to I don't to see a this. lot of negativity on that. You don't have to play it. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to imbibe it. You don't have to... No, it's the hottest it. new game. Everyone has to play it. You don't. It, the, the gaming industry has changed. When we were younger, That's you why had we're streaming. 12 games. We're maybe. streaming it because we have to be uh, on top of like the newest properties as streamers. Brian, the poorly played stream must be playing yeah. the newest, hottest games. Sure, but you know, uh, and, and somebody in the chat just now, uh, Rabbit Image, I'm said staggered. it perfectly. If you want to play a traditional oh, turn-based RPG that we that we've been talking about the whole show, play the new Dragon Age <laughs> or, or Dragon, Dragon Quest. Quest. Yeah. Excuse me, Dragon Quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Dragon Quest is the best version. So of cute. a traditional JRPG, and it's so much fun. Crabber dabber doos, they got a little bubble coming out. So Get cute. The slime. Fire in the hole, boys. Fire it up. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Spray that thing up. Oh shit. It transforms and forms an energy ball. Look at that. We're barely getting out by the skin of our teeth here. My yeah. uh my my health on Barrett could be a little higher. I would use it just the cloud just to have Use that. a potion. Yeah. Let me use a potion here if this uh, is the last little whoopsie. Give Barrett a potion. We gotta take it out quicker, we're screwed. Yeah, take out the legs. I'm going into operator mode. Oh yeah, dude. Punisher mode. Or punisher mode, yeah, yeah. So with that you can't like block. You can't block, but I'm bad at blocking anyway. Yeah. And then yeah, in this version you have to like target the legs. Yeah. I'm gonna do left leg. I won't give up. Fire. Ooh, that did good. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh. Not good. Yeah, not good at all. I better heal. I know. Fuck. Running out of potions too. I used to get better. You're good. It's down. Rain hell on. Leg is down. Switch into this one. Yeah, and and then like the fast switching between the characters is awesome. And then at any point. You can also command your characters with L2 and R2, depending on how many people you Focus have. Focus shot. Like, if I can concentrate, like, this... I can see how managing four characters is going to be, like, so fun. Like, do you look forward to that kind of, uh, quick, uh, like, switching back and forth? Like, I can see it oh, being was... a little overwhelming with four at first, but that's not going to be till you know, like, you're further into the game. You know, it reminded me uh, a little bit, and this, maybe this is a, a bad analogy, but this reminded me kind of 
uh, Indivisible. Dude, we just fucking kill it at the same time. In in Indivisible, you are controlling all four characters at once, basically. Yeah. Um, Indivisible is a great indie Anja developed game by uh, published by 505 Games, developed by Lab Zero Games by our good friend. Did you guys ever Mario. stream that? Oh, Frank, you guys. I again, like, it's a game where I want to care about the story. I like won't stream yeah. it. Like that's like a art. Like, that's why I haven't like streamed much of Dragon Quest XI. It's like, oh, this is gonna be a game I'll play on my own time. Yeah, I I streamed. Uh, I played the beginning like half hour, and then I streamed it, but got too far. Yeah. Uh, I got further than the half hour, so then I was like stuck because yeah. I really can't do both at yeah, the same time. Yeah. 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 Luckily I, I had a I barely got through that fight, but oh, I, yeah. I had a little experience playing last night. That game was we got to move. A surprising so good, so much really fun. Really fucking good, dude. So well developed, beautifully animated, the music's incredible, the voice acting is fun, and the yeah. biggest thing that I love about that game and Slight, slight spoiler, but the biggest thing that I love about that game is that uh -oh, the main character, spoiler. the main character, is not a hundred percent a paragon. Halfway through the game, you get to a point where you're like, I don't know if I agree with what decisions the main character is making. Oh, okay. Like the way that their character is portrayed sounds like a regular JRPG where they're like, no, we're doing the right thing, but what they're actually doing in the game is, are things that are like. No, wait, you're not listening to the other NPCs. You're not taking into consideration other characters. You're just acting on your own mission. So it's playing against tropes that we're familiar with, which is, oh, the main character is Subverting good. your expectations yeah. in a positive way. Check it out if you guys have not checked out Indivisible. We've streamed it. We uh, played check it. Check out our episode. Oh, I know you have. I'm talking to our yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. audience. You guys need to check that game out because it is a lot of fun. If you go back and uh, search up the Poorly Played stream on the Mega64 Archives YouTube channel, you could see our episode and uh, get that game for yourself. I would recommend it if you Strongly. like a cross between a platformer and an RPG uh, with action elements. A, a lot... A lot like could be Metroid. said about this. Yeah, yeah, that that style map. Frank, we're gonna take another quick break. Oh, do you have one comment from the chat? Is anyone in the chat right oh, now? Yeah. Check on them. Uh, you the have a chat screen yeah, there. Yeah, the chat is anyone? beautiful. We have so many lovely people. Yeah, Earlier to today, wheel, Tanya man. Sheba gave five gifts up. Oh, oh my God. thank you, Tanya Sheba. Bless thank you. Thank you. Bless you. I love it. And Jerry is saying Indivisible is on Xbox Game Pass. You can try it for free. Uh, try it for free if you're an Xboxer. We'll be right back. Just one of those days. I gotta take out the trash, if you know oh. what I mean. Back to the deck. Don't talk back. Empty, empty the recycle bin. Oh, gotta get to some d
was outside in the hallway coming back from the bathroom, and it's, like, nice and cool. Oh, yeah. It's, like, uh, ch almost chilly out there, but in here, fucking all the electronics buzzing. All the hot boys. Do you like this much hot electromagnetic boys. frequency flowing into you? Because some people, you ever heard of, Frank, they put sardine cans and stuff in front, oh, of, yeah. the, in front of the TV monitors. Big foil it. No, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for the cyberpunk transhumanist future. Let's go. Why Let's don't go. we just fill our cells with radio what waves? I USB. feel good and I feel energized by it in this room. You know yeah. what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. I feel good. Plug, uh, fill up my ports. Let's... Let's escape. We we chose the 19 minute escape route. Which, oh, good. Which is the shorter of the two. But I I, I think we got cocky, this. aren't you? I'm a little cocky, but also I want to use what he says. a potion. It'd be fucked up if you started a video game and there was a 360 hour timer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> how yeah. many That's like a Black Mirror episode. It's how many hours you have until you sell this game back to GameStop. Yeah, 360 hours to beat Man. it. Ni 19 minutes till moms come home. Can you beat the game in time to then go back to doing your homework? Could you beat the game so fast you could take it back to Blockbuster oh. and say it was bad? Yeah. And they wouldn't know yep. you yep. already finished yep. it. Yep. That was the pro gamer trick back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah. That, oh, pro, yeah. that pro gamer strat. Or you, you just say, oh, it might, it might, the disc wasn't reading. It, the yeah. disc didn't read. The disc is dirty. Okay, it, but you beat game. it in like two hours, and yep. you're like, this was fucking dog shit. Yep. And then you get another one. You get like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. yeah. Again, con you know, passing down the oral Something traditions good. in case, you know, one of my favorite cheap-ass gamer tricks. But they don't have to rent now. They don't have to go to Game Crazy. They, they can't even rent. They can't do my, they can't do my favorite trick is... Gamefly uh, still exists. I, I used to take such bad care of my games because I was a fucking kid. Yeah. yeah. All my discs would get all fucking scratched. Oh, so once, G, once, once GTA 3 stopped <laughs> working, I would be like, Mom, let's go to Blockbuster. <laughs> so I'd rent GTA 3 and fucking swap my shitty scratch disc oh, for a fresh one. I did I, that like five times. I totally Kids forgot are the about worst. Doing that's that. the I did that with Return of Castle Wolfenstein, oh, Halo yeah. 2, GTA Kids, 3. That's Kids that's, are that's the a, worst. That's a, that's the fuck. That's the ultimate cheap ass gamer trick. That is. I've done that did, many times. Did you go left or right at this? I think there's maybe a decision where you could go right and you don't save Jesse. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I don't think I went the other way. I think you have to go this way. Okay. I wonder what happens if you go that way. I mean, I always saw her here. So. Yeah. Back in the day, I would uh, use uh, GameFly. Oh, you did? Uh, you, oh, we talked about this on the oh, Big Dog Street. Man, I like, never used oh, the God. Oh, order. dude, I had so many lost shipments yeah. of games. Oh, oh bro. Oh, that, man. <laughs> it, you know what? I love Bad Gamefly gamers. because they, they oh, never delivered Jesus. their games Yeah, it never to showed me. up. I Bad guess the report this is missing. Oh, my God. Else. You know, it I does. always had to make a claim. Yeah, man. For the games I wanted. Yeah. Guys. It, you know what? You know the greatest part about it? I've only done that with Netflix like twice so They're I so feel it like Garrett that I got and you know what I ended up with like at least three or four <laughs> games yeah because they sent me a second copy yeah. and I didn't know what to do I with the second you know, game. what are you gonna do with it yeah I said it was I, I said it was I said the game never showed up and then I later realized Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. It was in my Xbox the whole time. Oh, I didn't realize you had it. it. Oh, so yeah. Right, so I was playing it. I was having so much fun and now it's just sitting on my shelf. Yeah, you know it like yeah. it was just like an it I happens. I just forgot that it came in and that I already played it. It so, can happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, I must have forgot. Hey. I've hey. heard of it happening. Hey. I kind of feel bad about it, uh, but same uh, time. Brian, do we have we one do. of those sweet? I love that Barrett's across the way on that ladder going up. Beautiful. You see him in the, Beautiful. In the background. Beautiful. That's some good teamwork shit. Oh, shit. I always do that. PBS the camera angle's work. sweet there. Uh, do you have a Discord caller we do. Oh, lined God. up? You know what? We got a new I, name. You know who I saw? I, I saw uh, I saw Tylon okay. out there in Pax East. Let's Hell yeah, Tylon. Tylon. He's Tylon an enforcer, enforcer out in Pax East. Tylon, the ninja, the enforcer. Tylon, what's whoop, happening, whoop, brother? Whoop, whoop, whoop. What up, Tylon? Whoop whoop. whoop. Hell yeah. Uh, crank your crank your gain, brother. I want to hear you, big dog. I, I know you were out there with now? us. I think that's a How's little that? better. Okay. So I'm on my phone. Oh, uh, that's okay. my. That might uh, be what it is. Oh, that's it. Well, sh shout it out. Report back on what the best part of uh, Pax East was for you. Uh, Pax. The best part about Pax East was hanging out with all the cool gamers. Hell oh hell yeah. yeah, dog! Gamers left and right. You got cosplayers on your left. You got. Nintendo uh, attendees and Hawaiian shirts on your right. You know, Here there's I gamers am. all around. Stuck in the middle. How beautiful was that Animal Crossing booth, Tylon? 
Oh, that was probably like like one of the best parts about the whole thing was just seeing how much attention they put into that. It was crazy. It was dude. fantastic. All the picture, like I didn't, I didn't care about anything else. Seeing that in real life was like, I'm genuinely just awe-inspiring. Seeing that thing set up and like turned on, all lit up. It was, it illuminated from every angle. Like even the banners in the background were like backlit in a way that just popped. That was a fucking beautiful booth. It it's, was, and it's probably just for that show. Yeah, because I can't imagine what is next with coronavirus uh, shutting down all these future Hell cons. Yeah. Dude, like, that's that that's just a marketing stunt for Capcom. For Resident Evil Three, yeah. fucking Raccoon City, Ground yeah. Zero coronavirus. Oh, that's what it the is, guys. The fucking C virus, dude. William Burke right. came up with some new shit. Forget the G virus. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, dude. You're C right. Virus. Uh, so Tylon, you were out there and you were enforcing. Did you get to check out any cool panels uh, that you had to do? Uh, you were doing your duty, but, you know, might as well check out what they had to say up there. Uh, I didn't get to do so many panels as much as, like, entertain the people waiting for those panels. Oh, that's right. This is something I had not heard about, that they have something called line entertainment. And the enforcers yeah. are there to keep the, uh, you know, otherwise kind of boring lines yeah. uh, entertaining. That's which great. I, I thought that was interesting. Play games with people. You gave uh, prizes away and stuff. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I would do all sorts of stuff. I would. Uh, I would have people roll like a foam dice, and depending on what number they got, they would get a prize. Or, uh, or yeah, I would just do like you know, I'd get a white to play like Hangman, or just all sorts of things. Like some everyone loves a good Hangman. Their own, yeah, some people what brought the their fuck? own instrument. There was a guy guitar the whole time. Oh, a little music interlude, some guitar. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, thank you very much for thank calling you. in, man. Thank you for reporting in. We'll see you again uh, at the next one. I don't know what's coming up, but I'm sure I'll see you there. Yeah, dude. I'll probably see you at, like, Pax West or something if you're by to go to Seattle for Oh, yeah, dude. For sure. Uh, keep it up, and I'll see you around. Uh, uh, little... Oh, wait. Can I, can I, ask, can I ask something? Sure, oh, yeah. No, if go you've ahead. got a question, I can, I can uh, answer that. Yeah. Uh... Can you spin the wheel? Oh! oh. All right, Tylon. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We can I thought, definitely spin the wheel for I thought for there. sure. I thought for sure it was coming. I'm so glad. Oh, oh look at this nice artwork of Barry. That's cool. And yeah, uh, cool. Tifa. Hell yeah. Uh, no, Barry and Tifa. Oh. She, uh, that's her, right? Is that Princess Zelda? Yes. Which one's... Uh, I'm getting horny now just thinking about it. The guy on the left Ganondorf. That's right, 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 right. Uh, Nina Williams. We want to spin the wheel for Tylon. Oh, yeah. Where is the wheel? Right here? It's right next to Frank. Frank can give it a oh, big shit. reach around yeah, yeah. I got and spin. I didn't even Not yet. See it. But, uh, yeah, give it give it a nice, uh, sturdy All right. Stream. It's time to play the Joker's Wild. Whoop, whoop. Whoa, okay. That's perfect. I hope we get show feet. Oh, Looks we got... Like, ooh, what does that say? Twilight Discord. Oh, Twilight Discord. No. Discord. Oh my God, Brian! I no. had a feeling. That, wow, we've never gotten that. I I've had a been feeling. Real happy about it so no. far. When I went to take out the trash earlier, no. Tylon, I took the trash out like I said I was going to, no. and I saw her hanging out no. around. Oh, oh no! Yeah. yeah, it's fucked up, bro. That's why I've been fucking dreading this <clears throat> one, dude. So Tylon, if you can stay on uh, Discord, I think. Uh, we spun the wheel, so I'm going to bring my cousin up from the outside. We'll get right back to that. Um, but, yeah, hold on, Tylon, and, and let me let me get that going. Jesus. This is unfortunate. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, real quick, be fast. Hold on guys, we'll be right back.
Oh god, thank god you're fucking back. Okay, what? What am I supposed to, do, like, fucking do? Hello? Uh, Garrett just shoved me back in here, Brian. Fucking. Hi, by the way. How you doing, Brian? He said, he said that. What the fuck is that? He said I should come in here and talk to whoever was on the telephone, so go ahead and put him on for me. Well, we got Tylon on the line. Hey, what's up, Tylon? How's it going? Hey, Hey, what's up? Hey, why the fuck did my cousin tell me to come up and talk to you? What do you have to say? Something fucking spe- Oh, whoa, who's that? Yo, hey, what up? What's your Hey Tylon, shut the fuck up for oh, a second. Yeah. Hey, what's your what's your name, dude? Nice Frank Howley, nice to meet you. Hey, we've never met. Hi, greetings. Hi, Hi I'm what's Twilight. Up? I'm Garrett's cool. fucking cool cousin. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fucking You play uh, Fortnite? Do you got a light or anything? Oh no, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Brian, do you I abstain. <laughs> I have one. I was just we trying are, to flirt. <laughs> my mom doesn't let me play with fire. All right, well, uh, we're not allowed to smoke. Whoa! Hey, yeah. I, which I've told I'll you. Smell my every clothes. single fire. No, unless, fuck you and your rules. It's not me. It's Bernie, me. 2020. Hell fuck yeah. you. I'm smoking in here because I got free health care down the road, bitch. Oh, Listen, uh, Tylon. I know yeah. that we were supposed to like hit it off or whatever because you have something worked out with my cousin, but I'm right here talking to the man of my dreams, Frank. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Thank guy. You. Thank you. You look fucking, you look swole as shit, That's bro. Right. That's right, baby. I work out. How do you know my loser ass cousin? Uh, you know, we're, we're back in the day gamers. We used to play Mortal Kombat and do some uh, yeah. boy shit together. Uh, fucking video game shit. Hell this nerd yeah. can't get laid for the life of him. Hell He's out yeah. here with a fucking controller and his dick in his hands left and right. Uh, Tylon, let's uh, let's get this thing going. What what's the obligation I have to fulfill, Brian? Uh, basically, like the will of fate says that we're supposed to have a call. I, uh, I don't know one thing you're talking about. A wheel of fate. Brian, what's the point here? I Have we done it? I mean, Tyler... Hang up on this fucking guy. Thank wow, you, whatever. Zowie. I'm so sorry, Tyler. We I... gotta hang up on him. That's all right. Thank, Thank you, you, Thank you so time. much for your call, Tylon. See you guys later. You gotta deal with what? this fucking shit now. These cigarettes make me sound fucking weird, man. It's fucking way out there. We'll be right back. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, what's up? Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck, 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 fuck. Thanks. Get the fuck out of here. Brian, did you walk her out? Yeah, I fucking walked her out. Did you walk her all the way out? All the way out, and I locked the door. Because every time, like I tell you, fucking don't want to have... I know, but I didn't... Her here. I don't remember that being on the wheel, and I don't... We're off, right? We're muted? What? We're muted, right? Yeah. It's muted, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I told you time and time again... I don't want her here either. It's not... Don't look at me. I forgot it was on the wheel from... You're the one who went outside and fucking grabbed her from the dumpster. Yeah, because what are we supposed to do? We're live. She doesn't Frank, know You're embarrassing wheel. me in front of Frank. She dude. doesn't fucking know the wheel landed on Get Twilight. What the fuck was that even on there oh, for? Oh, but the fucking stream saw it and they're gonna fucking bitch. You'll get reported if you don't do it. Yeah, they want me to be real yeah, and give my point, honest... Why, who the fuck even put... Why laid outside or the fuck it said on there? Like, why are we even letting her I back did. in? It was my idea, but you remember when we tried to fix the show. When we had that drought, no one was fucking watching. Frank, we had like 15 fucking viewers, okay? Oh, wow. I had to spice it up. And wow. I had to start... Sex sells, man. Absolutely. Paul yeah. Heyman, ECW. No, I, I got my that. fucking cousin involved because we're barely cousins. There's... I mean, technically, if we were kissing cousins, it wouldn't even be that, that big of a fucking thing deal. That incest thing is high up on the... Uh, that's, that's hot right now. 
That, that's a very uh, yeah, trendy yeah. word. Well, it's I a mean, hot, I'm yeah, like stepsister shit. I'm not going to dig on that. I mean, if Game of Thrones get away with brothers yeah. and sisters fucking men. Code Veronica? Game of Thrones, have you been on the internet? Oh. Check out the search term. Wow. I found out what a pog was the other day. It blew my fucking head off. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's get, get back. Ready, to, hold on. I got to get back. I got uh, too many fucking commercials today. Yeah. Hold on. I'm coming back. Ready, Frank? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Glad we got them out. Uh, bear with us uh, while we reconfigure. That uh, last segment, you know, had to stick to my guns. You know, the wheel was spun, Frank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you, Frank, yeah. Thanks for handling that. We, oh, yeah. We got the Twilight Discord, so uh, Tylon got a little taste of my cousin. It's been a while, Brian, since we've had her on the show. Thankfully. It's been quite uh, some time, yeah. so I'm glad that Twilight poked her head in. Keep if it only, that way. If only for a little bit. It's good to, you know, catch up with my cousin. She left her cigarette here. Great. Okay, she's probably got a whole pack that. down, uh, stuffed in her uh, underwear to... Stuffed somewhere. Yeah, but um, we're going to be moving on. The room stinks like uh, B.O. and uh, uh, menthols and... I'm just gonna try to get focused because I have 15 minutes. Oh my Brian. god! You gotta, you gotta exit this place. I gotta get the fuck out. You gotta get out. Okay. Uh, you know they say blood is thicker than water, right? And you gotta respect, you know the 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 fam. Put family first. Do they? They say that. I don't know. No. Cloud, Cloud, he's like in the. Does Cloud have family? He's got yeah. The the crew here is becomes his family in this game. It's oh. like. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be blood to be family. I think that was the name of a, a hardcore album I like. <laughs> you don't have to be blood to be family. Was that? I, I think you're right. Was that? Was that over my dead body or was that hate breed? Who was you that? You don't have to be blood to be family. Hardcore. You don't have to be blood to be family. Search that up. That'll that'll bring you. Barrett's gonna do this fucking power shot. Throw down. Throw down. That's fucking. Some San Diego wow. hardcore, baby. That was good shit. You know what's funny is that that wasn't the immediate were... response. When I searched that lyric, but you I know got that images, and I saw the word throwdown, and I went, that looks like a band name. Yeah. So I guess that that was it. I'm so happy I'm right. Let's go to, uh, I used to go to a lot of throwdowns. Discogs.com's got it. Throwdown. Oh, they got it. They released got it. in 2001. <laughs> let's on see. Let's Indecision see. Records. Yeah, dog. I fucking love this. Play just a, uh, we got a little sample. Uh, let me see if I do. Just let me hear opening guitar riff. You know, not All enough right. to get flagged, but just a little fucking riff. You, what is it, throw down. I'm doing, I'm doing gangbusters here when uh, I'm you supposed to be playing well. have to be blood, be family. All right, we're going to go with the song Family because we're all about ICP here. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. I get it. I get it. All right, that's good. I remember that. That's exactly that's exactly what you need. Yep. That's all you need to hear. That's throwdown for you. It's throwdown. It's like 2001. Nice uh, 19-year-old track. Da, 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 da. Somebody posted. I'm going today vegan tonight. On the <laughs> what? Mega 64 subreddit, my top 10 reasons oh, why yeah. ICP sucks video from 10 years ago. Oh man, I remember those. And what's great about that video is that if you if you go to the actual YouTube and look at the upload, it can't. I published it December 20th, 2009, and I completely forgot that. The way I launched that video or released it was by it was Rocco's birthday. Yeah. I called into the podcast back when we still had Skype and I lived in San Francisco and I said I had a video for Rocco for his birthday. <laughs> That's what that video was shot for? Well, I mean it was it was because we were all doing the top ten reasons why X oh, all those, sucks. Yeah. I don't Frank know if did I did Harry one. Potter. Oh yeah. You did uh, Harry Potter, Frank? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Frank's Harry I Potter remember, video is hilarious. I loved when we did like unique bits just oh, all yeah. based on our YouTube channels. I think I'm targeting something I can't hit because I'm like missing it. Yeah, so it, it was just great because like, again, I, I forgot that whole era of like us making like videos that back in the YouTube day of video responses were connected to each other. So it was yeah. really, really cool to, to see that. I Top miss it. Oh. Whoa. That's Frank's like, Harry, <laughs> the, Potter video. Harry Potter sucks. Yeah, you guys. Oh, you, Rocco did the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Who did, uh, did Sean Derek, and Derek, Derek kicked it off. Derek kicked it off with Disneyland. Yeah. Sean, oh, I think he did, started it. I think Sean did Steven Spielberg. Yep. Uh, Venice did the White Stripes. <laughs> um, Remember when I thought, uh, we just talked about this yeah. at PAX East, but I thought forever that Frank's friend Bennis, who I now follow uh, on, Instagram. on Instagram, and I see that he is a real person, but I thought the Bennis account was just a second Frank account <laughs> to, oh, re -up really? to re upload our IGN videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't believe, I was like, nah, that's you, dog. You're re uploading the IGN videos there. You're like, no, for real, it's my friend. So what I would do is. I I paid for the IG, I paid for the IGN Insider, uh, but I let I shared the account with him and I let him download the videos and just upload them to YouTube. Shout out Bennett. Got to archive it, baby. Yeah, it's, it's a library. To the archivists out there, yeah, I want to say shout out he's to Jedi researcher. Fan four two one, Bennis, Royce oh, yeah. Kiyami. Hell yeah. Um, you know all of the best to you, the archivists. Oh yeah. There we Who is that? Is that the Shinra Master? The only thing I don't like about this demo is that they call Mako Mako. Mako Energy. Which is driving me nuts, but I will be playing this game in Japanese when I get it, so it's fine. Do you think you will? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I probably should. Because uh, I have the voices in my head already. Yeah. From playing it the first time. Like, I Wait, may... It, is, there, know, is there voice acting in... No. In, so, yeah, yeah. It's all text, so yeah. the voice is in my head of oh, like, how, how okay. I think these characters sure. sound. Like... I named Barrett Shaft. I had just seen. <laughs> I had just seen the films. <laughs> the, uh, the new one with the. Uh, no, 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 no. In 1997, oh, yeah. like I had rented wow. from Banana Video. Shaft. Shouts out to the original Shaft. Wow. He's one bad mother. Shut your mouth. Shut. And uh, I, 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 I did see the new one with Samuel Jackson and the youngest oh, new wow. uh, Shaft. Amy and then the, the original guys in it too. It was great. But um, yeah, totally like you know. Uh, named, named all the women in the game after girls in my high school. Of course. Named all the dudes after like movie stars and shit. I think uh, I kept the name Strife because that was a hardcore band I really liked. Oh. So I didn't call him Cloud. I called him Strife as his first name. Um, and that has subsequently been like my first character username in most RPGs. Uh, Strife. Yeah. Okay, LA hardcore cool. band. Oh, at yeah. a Thousand Oaks, right, California, so they... Thousand they, Oaks, baby. Perfect, per, hey, guys. Saw it, them, uh... Yeah? Oh, I was Sorry. just gonna say, if you want a perfect example of a hardcore band, white guys out of the richest part of L.A. fucking making nah, music dude. about how angry they are with the world. They are fucking, uh... Telling you how it is. The Satisfaction... No, what was the name of the Stripe self-titled album? Oh, man. In This Defiance? I think Stripe In This Defiance is, like, the best fucking... Hard... That's, like, uh... Yeah, In This Defiance. Best, uh... That's, like, top... Top ten hardcore albums. I would put that in there. I don't know what other ones I would dump. On Victory Records. Yeah, Victory. I used to just buy all Victory shit. You know, it was re released. Anything on that was on Victory, I would get. I have it on my own. Oh, you do? Yeah, That's and I, awesome. I've never really found a, a chance to play it. The one genre of, of records that I've purchased, I have uh, yet to find a way to incorporate those into like my game day sets. Because uh, when you play a hardcore song, it's just Hell not, yeah. it not mixed in with dance music. <laughs> you know, like everything else is so different. Or drums, you know. That's what keeps people on their toes, though. Da, 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 da. Dude, the intro to that album is like it's got an intro and an outro track that just set it up. It's beautiful. Anyway, we beat the demo, guys. We got to the fucking end. Gamer! We did that shit. Garrett the Gamer. We beat a game on one Look at, same screen. Who is it? It's who the Sephiroth. Fuck is that? Sephiroth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's Friend? that hater? Who Sephiroth. is that hater? What the uh, fuck? Any, anything in the chat? Anyone else have any interesting uh, tidbits before we go? We did have Jake Innes pop in and say hello. Jake, all the way yeah. from Tokyo. Yeah, dude, he's they're in out Japan right now. He's out yeah. there Legend holding it down, Ennis. dude. Marker place. He's, oh. in, he's inbound, uh, I think, to this country yes. next. Uh, we'll have to uh, be announcing dates soon when he will be appearing on the uh, yeah. poorly played stream, I'm sure. We'll have another Jake Innes appearance. It's been a few years. <laughs> Since we had DJ Innes spin them tunes on the uh, poorly played stream to get that booty in gear for some booty juke, please.
stay tuned. Thank you, Frank, so much. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks for coming on. You want to tell me a little bit about where they can find you and Brian? Guys, 24-7, you can hang out with us in the Big Dogs Discord, the friendliest chat room you ever did see. We stream Tuesdays and Fridays. We've been playing Shenmue. We're going to, play, we're going to start Final Fantasy fourteen tomorrow. We got fucking Halo 1 remaster coming out. Guys, we're Ooh. some hardcore gamers. We're doing all that wicked shit. Also, we're going to see ICP in May in San Diego. If you want to, if you, Bro, so Garrett, what? I know you want to come. No, hang I'm, out with us. I don't know if I can handle uh, the fizz and the oh, overall spray of Fago. But hell yeah, dog. We're all, we online. Follow me on Twitter for all that cute shit. Get at him. Uh, you know, you know us. Hell we, yeah. We've been doing it for fucking years, bruh. We have. Hell yeah. We, uh, we sure do have fun playing with our toys. So oh, boy. Catch us on Twitch. Woo. Brian, thank you so much for being around As today. Always, it's fun. I always hate to be gone. Uh, I love coming to conventions, but I hate missing the poorly played stream. So I'm glad to be reunited with you, sir. Me too. Hell yeah. It was weird missing a week. It, it's oh, we a lot of missed weeks, you know, around the January holidays, December holidays. Got to keep up with us. We've been busy. Fuck, you know what's next? Uh, next? Uh, well, I don't know, cause like it technically should have been GDC, but that got postponed, and technically should be E3, but that's getting postponed. Who knows? Who knows? Anime Expo is definitely next. All this shit's yeah. gonna blow. Over Let coronavirus it. take Anime Expo. That place is too fucking crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, fuck it. That. Exactly. Fuck, fuck them. That exactly. shit. Fuck them. I got it. So. I'm still standing. Yeah, dude. Yo, I'm a ninja. We'll be back next Wednesday at 7. Should I buy this game? Yeah. I, get the Butterfinger code. I already did. Thank you, guys.